Mr. Zuckerberg, I, um, as you know, Facebook can be sometimes an unkind place, um, both toward my personal appearance and today apparently toward your haircut. Um, but I just, as a mother of a teenage boy, I just want to say thanks for modeling um, the shortcut. Um, <laughs> You have said, um, quote, we have a responsibility to protect our data, and if we can't, then we don't deserve to serve you, unquote. Do you remember making that statement? Uh, Congresswoman, yes. And Facebook's privacy principles say, one, we give you control of your privacy, two, you own and can delete your information, and three, we are accountable. Today, can you affirm that Facebook cares about user privacy and still holds itself to the standards it articulates in its public policies? Congresswoman, I, I, we, we certainly care about privacy. It's okay. incredibly important to people. Great. And, uh, and Super. If that's true, that you care about privacy and you're hewing to these principles, why are you arguing, Facebook, in federal court that consumers can't hold you liable for any of these promises because, quote, as plaintiffs admit, they and every Facebook user are bound by Facebook's terms of service, which release Facebook from liability for users' contract and common law claims. Congresswoman, I'm, I'm not familiar with that specific legal argument. Well, it's, on the, it's, on, it's right there for you. You are arguing in federal court that the, in a consumer data privacy lawsuit, in which your own lawyers admit that users' information was stolen, that they, the plaintiffs fail to articulate any injury. In other words, no harm, no foul. Facebook messed up, but it doesn't matter. Is that your position? Uh, Congresswoman, I'm, I'm not familiar with all the context here, so it's, and, I'm, and I'm not a lawyer, so it's, it's a little bit hard for me to weigh in on the, on the Mr. Zuckerberg, as CEO and the tremendously proportional shareholder of Facebook, you are responsible for the legal arguments that your company makes. You hire these lawyers. Will you commit to withdrawing this argument and this pleading and never again plead that there is no liability on Facebook when data breaches occur? Congresswoman, you're certainly right that I'm CEO and I'm responsible for everything that happens in the company. All that I'm saying is that uh, I imagine that there are more pages to this document and... Okay, I'm going to take that as a no for right now, but I would like you to consider it. I, I will. think your pleading is inconsistent with your privacy principles, and I think that American people are tired of this hypocrisy. I've been in Congress 10 months, and I have already lost count of how many people have sat in exactly that chair and said one thing to me and to this Congress and then done another thing in federal court. I want to turn to a different issue. Facebook's known as a great place to work, free food, ping pong tables, great employee benefits, but Facebook doesn't use its employees for the hardest jobs in the company. You've got about 15,000 contractors watching murders, stabbings, suicides, other gruesome, disgusting videos for content moderation, correct? Uh, Congressman, yes, I believe that that's correct. You pay many of those workers under $30,000 a year, and you've cut them off from mental health care when they leave the company, even if they have PTSD because of their work for your company. Is that correct? Um, Congresswoman, my understanding is you know, we pay everyone, including the contractors associated with the company, at least a $15 minimum wage. In, in markets and in cities where there's a high cost of living, that's a $20 minimum wage. We go out of our way Thank to you. offer I, a Thank you. I take your word at the wage. Health. Reclaiming my time. Um, according to one report I have, and this is straight out of an episode of Black Mirror, these workers get nine, nine minutes of supervised wellness time per day. That means nine minutes to cry in the stairwell while somebody watches them. Would you be willing to commit to spending one hour a day for the next year watching these videos and acting as a content monitor and only accessing, accessing the same benefits available to your workers? Uh, Congresswoman, we, we work hard to make sure that we give good benefits to all the folks who are doing I, this. Mr. Zuckerberg, reclaiming my time, I would appreciate a yes or a no. Uh, would you be willing to act as a content monitor uh, to have that life experience? I'm not sure that it would best serve our community for me to spend that much reclaiming time my years. time, Mr. But Zuckerberg. I, I, I spent a lot of time my time. Content. Mr. Zuckerberg, are you saying you're not qualified to be a content monitor? No, Congresswoman. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, then you're saying you're not willing to do it. How many lobbyists are you on, are on your payroll? Uh, Congresswoman, I don't know the answer to that. Sixty. So five dozen lobbyists, 
And I wanted to ask about the timing of your announcement this week to invest $1 billion into housing charity on the day before your testimony before this committee. You may respond in writing. My time has expired. <laughs>